but I want to talk about the spinach. We actually bought it a week ago and it's been sitting in my refrigerator like this for a week, just like we bought it at Costco perfectly sealed in this container. And I noticed that even though it does say that it peels and reseals, which keeping um, airtight like this, it did keep it fresh all week, but now this doesn't reseal anymore after opening it two times. So if you were trying to keep this in the refrigerator like this, it would not stay fresh very long after you tried to reseal it. And one of the great reasons why I store it either in glass or silicone is it will stay airtight the whole entire time and will stay fresh. And even though it says it's triple washed, greens are something that gets recalled all of the time. So by washing it again when you bring it home, you know that it's safe for your family. No matter what greens you're washing. If it's lettuce or spinach or collard greens or kale, you wash them the same way. We're going to use a 5% distilled white vinegar, which will kill off the mold spores, E. coli, listeria, and other harmful pathogens. We put it in a bowl and we will soak it with a quarter cup of vinegar for two minutes. It's so important to set a timer and only soak it for two minutes. Then I will rinse it in a colander, especially lettuce. It seems like the dirt, like pops up on the leaves and that way I can rinse it off again. After you rinse it, I use a salad spinner and it will cut down on the drying time and then I lay it out on towels to dry. Normally it'll take about three hours to dry. A salad spinner is a great thing if you don't have a bowl already. It is a bowl, a colander, and a spinner all in one item. So if you're looking to start this washing process and you don't have the items that you need, buy a salad spinner first. Spinach I always lay out on the towel and I try to get it in a single layer, but as it's drying, I will go by and kind of toss it around so other areas are getting air. So I just kind of shuffle it around a little bit on the towel and lay it back down and it normally takes around three hours to dry. I store spinach normally in these stasher bags, but you can also store it in a glass container with the snapware lid. So just like I do lettuce. So we do it this way, it snaps loud. So that is how I store my lettuce normally, but any kind of greens will work the same way. Or if you have a silicone bag to use it this way. And then again, for longer spinach from like the farmer's market that has the thick stems. And sometimes I'll store those in a glass of water in the refrigerator. So a lot of the times I'm using spinach, I'm using it frozen because we use it in smoothies and eggs and different recipes that I don't mind if it goes in frozen. If I'm making things like my spinach salad, which is the recipe is on the blog, then of course we use fresh spinach. But you can divide it up right at the beginning and put it in the freezer and keep some of it fresh and some frozen, or like me, I just keep it in my refrigerator for those first three weeks. On produce washing day, I just wash it and store it like I would fresh and put it in the refrigerator. And then after three weeks, if I notice I haven't ate it all up yet fresh, then I will go and put it in the freezer from there. So I always have some fresh, some frozen, and I can use it any way I want. To do this in the freezer, I normally use a silicone bag. There's a couple different brands that I like that we also have linked. When I'm putting it in the refrigerator, I will put a paper towel in it to collect any moisture. When I go to put it in the freezer, I grab that paper towel out because you don't want it in the freezer. And this is some that I just grabbed out that was in my freezer. This is small baby spinach, like the Costco bags of small baby spinach. And then this was spinach that I stored in a glass. These were the longer, bigger leaves of the farmer's market spinach. And before I freeze it, I just cut off most of the stemmy end on that. So I just grabbed it right out of the jar, chopped off the end, and then I put it in the freezer like this. So either way, it just makes it really crumbly. They stay together as leaves, but it's not that soggy, mushy spinach that you get from the store and I love it this way. So this was the farmer's market one and then the other one was the baby spinach. I love that spinach can be zero waste. I can just put it in the freezer if I have too much and use it directly for recipes such as omelets or throwing it into a blender for smoothies. Hot bacon dressing for spinach salad is one of my favorite things and we have the recipe linked down below. Make sure to check it out. If you would like more money saving tips like these, make sure to like and subscribe and share with friends.